Francesca Mattis is being remembered today as a brilliant light, a woman who made others feel loved and important. The 52-year-old mother's body was found late yesterday afternoon in Belize after nearly a week-long search for both her and her boyfriend, Drew Dvorsny. Local authorities are treating their deaths as a homicide and believe the couple were killed by strangulation. She is the most happiest, most positive, most shining, bright woman. She, her, her, her smile is so contagious that it, you can walk into a room and if she's there, it lights up the whole entire room. It's, she makes every single person feel like you're important to her. Nikki Monique can't believe her friend is truly gone. The 52-year-old Georgina mother of twin boys had been living part-time in Belize for years. You know, people think, oh wow, single mom, you're going to be living somewhere far away. Aren't you scared? Aren't you scared of what's going to happen to locals? She made sure she was friends with locals. She had a great support system of neighbors that were there that when she wasn't around, they would take care of her house for her. And every time she would return back in December, it was like a reunion all over again. Um, she had literally families everywhere she was. Friends say Francesca met Drew late last year, and despite their 16-year age difference, they quickly hit it off. Drew, a 36-year-old Afghanistan veteran from Georgia, and Francesca, a successful business and family woman who made everybody feel at home. Nikki is shocked anyone would ever cause Francesca harm. She didn't cause attention that would bring something like this to her. So wondering why this happened, could it be a freak accident? Could she have been targeted? Could somebody have been watching her? I mean, these are all questions that none of us know yet what the answers will be. It was an ending nobody wanted. After days of searching, Belize police found the bodies of Martis and Dvorsny in the resort region of Corozel in a sugarcane field. Police say their bodies were showing signs of decomposition. They were last seen on Tuesday night, leaving a bar on Francesca's last day in Belize. She was expected to return to the GTA the following day. Drew was expected to return to Georgia this week. For me, I think the miss I'll miss most is not being able to hang out with her again. I, I wish that there were more opportunities that we could have hung out. Um, you know, I feel bad because, you know, time is always so busy. People saying life takes you in different paths. But to be honest, this kind of experience, going through what we're all going through, makes me realize, and I hope everybody else realizes too, how life is so precious. Belize authorities are continuing to investigate the couple's deaths. It's not clear if or when Francesca's remains will be returned to Canada. Christina Howarn, City News.